Hey everyone, this is Diana with Polly's Frogs and I wanted to show you the bag of jewelry that I got over the Memorial Day weekend. It's really a fun pile of stuff. They got these brass I don't want to say it because it sounds funny. Brass balls. <laughs> I think those will look really neat on some kind of a project. And a poker chip. And I love that color of blue. So I guess it's not all jewelry. Button. There's several of these. This was at the flea market. That. These earrings, they make really pretty flower centers. And there was somebody at the flea market that had that piece in their hand and I'm standing there just watching and I'm like, come on, put it down, I want that. She put it down and I grabbed it. Don't you just love when that happens? Some bling. Some beaded trim. That's really pretty. I really like that. Oh, and these are interesting. They're all rusty like safety pins, but they're not safety pins, but they would be really neat in a project. There were two of them. And look at this. This is really, really neat. But it's attached to that. I can't figure out what it was. But I'm definitely cutting this piece off. And these beads. And this. A key. that. An old bottle cap I picked up. These bead caps. And I really like these. I like the, the patina looking color. More bling. And this. That's really pretty too. And I really love these buttons. I love the blue color. They were all spread out on a table and I was like grabbing every one that I could find. This. This would really make a really pretty flower center. And a little snowflake. It's just gorgeous goodness. And this. That's a velvet. It's black velvet. Another key. And this. I love that little flower. And I love these beads. I love the color. Oh, and this. Look. Isn't that gorgeous? And this bag, there were some orange beads in with this. I took them all out because I don't really like them that much. And this earring. 
and the mason jar. Remember this? Oops, sorry. I love that blue earring. <laughs> Look at this with the dice. <laughs> That's really pretty. That would be really pretty on a flower. And these. And this is interesting too. Somebody was asking me about old vintage postcards and how can you tell if they're real? And I responded that I can tell by the paper and I just I just want to go into that real quick here's here's one of my vintage postcards and I know this is not fake This is like a velvet material. And you, you just can tell there's just something about it. The age, the way the paper feels. Okay. Here's some reproduction. This is a reproduction. This is not old. Even though they've made it look old, it's not. That's not old. These are just copies of old vintage postcards. But the old, 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 old ones, they just have a certain patina, a certain feel. The paper has a certain color to it. See, that's, that's vintage. You can tell that it was, it was glued to the inside of a scrapbook. See this one? This one looks really old. I'm I'm not sure on this one if it's if it's vintage or if it's a reproduction. It looks like it's old. It feels old. I mean, anybody can tear corners, and we all know how to distress things and make them make them look old. So I, I'm not sure if this one's old. And a lot of times, just this one's definitely old. And a lot of times they wrote in pencil. And so if you wanted to just take an eraser and, and an inconspicuous spot kind of erase, this is from 1910. But anyway, I just wanted to touch on that. You kind of can tell. Sometimes you can't tell. Sometimes it's obvious that they're really old. Like that one. I love that. Back to the jewelry before I run out of camera time. More beads. And there was a lot more than this. I took, I've already taken some of it out and dismantled it and made flower centers. I got the idea from Fiona. 
We all know her. She does such wonderful videos. Look at that pretty pink. And shells. I really, really, I showed you this already, but I really love that. I really would like to find more of these. Oh, and I wanted to show some a little bit of that lace that I got that I showed you yesterday. Some uh, detail. This lace is so old and fragile. It's so pretty. And this, I was, I have a little ribbon iron and I was trying to run some of this stuff through my ribbon iron and it was just like almost falling apart. Look at the detail in that. It's so beautiful. So you guys keep an eye out at your flea markets and thrift shops and yard sales. You never know when you're going to find this stuff. So beautiful. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.